Hi everybody, uh, today we are going to uh, Celje uh, on this episode of Neither Here Nor in Jerusalem. Um, Celje is the monastery of St. Justin Popovic. He went there in the 40s in the sort of, uh, e sort of exile by the communists and he, he died there. And he was the, the spiritual son of another great theologian, uh, Nikolai Velimirovic. Just to give you an idea, before he died, he said that he wants to be buried at Celje because when the second coming comes and he's resurrected, he wants to be able to look at his monastery one last time. We set out on foot for Celje on November 1st from the city of Valjevo. The hike would take us about an hour and a half. No. We took a well-known shortcut on the railway. Many pilgrims use this route, and since we were in a little bit of a hurry, we used it too. We finally could see Celje. The very sight of it was serene. Celje comes from the Greek word kelia, which is plural for monastic cells. Yes, of course. <laughs> The monastery of Celje has a long history. No one knows the exact date of its founding, but it's estimated to have been built between the 13th and 15th centuries. Its founder is also disputed. Some say it was King Stefan Dragutin. A local legend says that it was three brothers from the Nemanjici royal dynasty. And yet others say it was built by the despot Stefan Lazarevich. The new church has three altars, one to St. Sava of Serbia, one to St. Justin the Martyr, and another to St. Mary of Egypt. St. Justin was sent to Celia in 1945 and spent 31 years there until his repose in 1979. During his time there, he was constantly under the surveillance of the communists, but that didn't stop him from writing and creating powerful theological works.
The monastery is dedicated to the archangels Michael and Gabriel. Between the 18th and 20th centuries, the monastery was destroyed and rebuilt many times, the aggressors being mainly the Ottomans, but was also destroyed in World War I and World War II. We weren't certain if they would allow us to take any footage inside the old church, where St. Justin's relics were. When we arrived, a priest whom we knew gave us some hope. He said he would ask for us. It seems we had St. Justin's blessing, and we therefore managed to capture just a few pictures of his reliquary. Next to the church where his relics are is the tomb from where he wanted to rise when the Lord comes again in glory. This tomb was dug illegally. The communists weren't allowing any excavations to be done due to the historic nature of the monastery. Okay, so uh, we're going to go get some coffee, and uh, what a blessing it has been to uh, visit Celia. It's an amazing pilgrimage site. And now I will leave you with a quote by St. Justin. Thank you all for watching this episode of Neither Here Nor in Jerusalem. I'll see you in the next one. In truth, there is only one freedom, the holy freedom of Christ, whereby he freed us from sin, from evil, from the devil. It binds us to God. All other freedoms are illusory. That is to say, they are all in fact slavery. <laughs>